Here's the marigold. Very pretty. Amazing plant. Oh, I had a basil. Where can I find that basil now? Oh, yeah. there it is. There's another basil over here. Here's a sweet pepper. I planted those and tomato. Pumpkin vines are coming all the way over here. There's another female squash flower in the distance. Ah, basil. Beautiful basil. That's Italian. This is Italian sweet basil. It smells amazing. More pumpkin, more squash. Popo. Popo. Pak Joy. Popo. Spinach. Popo. <laughs> and here's a volunteer watermelon. I want you to make an observation. Last time I came here, I, not the last time, sometime recently, the time before the last, I came and I was spraying for the, gray, the, the straight grasses. And see how yellow it looks now? So the only thing that is, that is living, is surviving, is the, the broadleaf species inside of here. <clears throat> so that would be all the grass that have broad leaves as well as the pumpkins. I did plant some okra, so here they are, one here, another, 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 alright. So all the brown grass, it was sprayed and I'm glad to see that it turned brown. <clears throat> this was, I think this was three three watermelon seeds in on the ground came together and just grew this thick mat of foliage and they seem to be doing pretty good one of them is has a very firm very hard um, baby watermelon coming up there female flower oh this managing plant I wonder if it has fruit on it oh yeah Sorry about that, yo. <laughs> I had to pick. Alright, so I'm gonna speed up. Pick up the pace a little bit. Alright, so. Things are looking good. They're starting to vine out. Let's see if I see any fruit coming up. This was the bed where I had the the honeydew melons growing here is the vine oh wow one two I hope nothing ate them I'm gonna pick them in uh, just a little bit three there are a few inside here I'm sure I'm gonna go to the rest of the garden and then oh here's another one Oh, and another one. Okay, 
gonna go finish up here and pick those. Amazing. All right, and these are the much younger ones, but amazing same way. I had some sorrel plants here. I planted four as far as I remember. There's one here. Two. Uh, oh, apparently it's five, three, four, five. And I need to I need to come back and spray up here just this area. We have some sweet potato growing in the middle here. I'm not expecting to see flowers on these here because I planted these approximately a week after all the rest of that I showed you in the beginning. Dry grass. Happy to see that they just suck all the nutrients from your plants. So when they die, all the better for your plants. Hey, these, I planted these last. Oh my goodness, look at them. Look at them. Look at that foliage. My goodness. Let me take off my shoe. It looks too small. <laughs> big leaves and they are drowning out a lot of the weeds that started growing just after I planted them and this is the bed in the corner and I wasn't expecting to see them grow so well more superiorly than the the one right next to them because this corner, while it's still exposed to this open sky, there are some trees nearby and happy to see how they are doing. These are some young plants as well. I just wanted to occupy some space and had some extra seedlings so I put them here. Great. So, we'll see how the honeydews are doing. Thanks for signing in.